Well again, Craig here. We're going to have to do this video kind of strange. We're going to start out by showing you, and we're doing this live essentially, where we're at. And let's see if I can zoom in enough to show you, to prove to you where I'm at. Aurora, Illinois. Okay? Aurora, Illinois. That's where we're at. This will become very clear to you in a second. Now, in order to continue this video, I also have to keep moving because I'm in a place where I can't stay parked. In fact, I'm right in front of a fire hydrant. So, this video is going to be addressed to all these trolls who think they can use NETSI as a source of information. NETSI, the Nuclear Emergency... Uh, I'll have to look it up. We'll, we'll, we'll show you here in a second. All right, we got to get on the road. Basically, people are using this NETSI site as proof of Fukushima radiation somehow. Uh, because Nessie has these hugely inflated numbers, so they just love that. They don't like the other ones that show readings that are realistic. They want to show the one that's just goofy. That's the way trolls are, Fuku, the Fuku trolls. The Fukun trolls. Uh, I'm going to pull over in an area here where I, have, I can safely finish this video off. If things don't fall over as I'm doing this. Okay, uh, Aurora, Illinois, if I think I looked it up, is the second largest city in Illinois, and they have a net sea reporting station. And we're gonna show you that now. Hopefully, we got enough shade here so we can make this happen. Okay, parking and shutting off. All right. We have this net sea site. I'm on the site now, and I'm gonna to have to pull the video up. We only have one camera to do this with because I have to use my phone as an internet connection. That's the only two cameras I have, essentially. All right, Netsy. This is the Netsy site. And if we try to do this where we don't get so much reflections here. Uh, basically, the Netsy site is the Nuclear Emergency uh, Teaching Center. Okay. Or Tracking Center. I'm sorry, Tracking Center. And if you scroll down here, just a little note. Uh, show how biased they are. And you can see this on the Netsy site. The Netsy site is netc.com, as you can see. Our mission, blah, 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 blah. Uh, no, no, wait, right here. Here we go. Be careful about, and this, you, yeah, you be careful about the knowledge because you're receiving a lot of crap. My heart is heavy and sorrow for my children and the next generation that must deal with our failures. And then a warning from the Bible. Using a Bible as a source is always a good failure. So anyway, it shows right off the bat how uh, uh, um, biased they are. Okay, hopefully we're still online here. And here we show... Uh, Aurora, Illinois is basically a suburb of Chicago. We're going to zoom in here. We're doing this live. And we'll have to scroll to get the site in view. Uh, basically, it's easy to find because of Lake Michigan. We're in this area here. As soon as this page updates, we'll be able to show you here. There we go. We have some reporting sites here. Uh, there it is, Aurora. Let me, let me scroll down here a little bit. Because there's another site I want to show you. Okay, there's, these are reporting sites right off their, their, their online source here. Now, uh, take note of, these are live readings. It's updated every so often. Uh, the current, now they use counts per minute. Counts per minute are ridiculous. I don't know why they use counts per minute, but they have to use counts per minute because they're, they're going towards a generally ignorant population because Real scientists don't use counts per minute, but we'll have to use counts per minute for this video. Uh, so the Netsy site is showing currently in Aurora, Illinois. See, it says Aurora, Illinois. Uh, counts per minute, 138 counts per minute, a low of nine and a high of 310. See, they always have a range, okay? So this is the, the Netsy site for Aurora, Illinois. Now, hopefully I can do this alive well enough. I've had this Geiger counter on. Okay, this is a Geiger counter with a pancake probe and this is a Geiger counter uh, with a, a standard Geiger Muller tube. Now as you can see right now here in Aurora, Illinois we are at, hopefully you can see that, six, uh, 17 counts per minute. 18 counts per minute. You see this fluctuates, it fluctuates all the time, 20, 21. This number will fluctuate continually all right, this number jumps up and down. We'll explain that here in a little bit. So it's actually gone up a little bit. You'll see it'll go up, it'll go down. All right, 
This other Geiger counter, which has a bigger probe, by the way, so it's likely to read higher, is currently reading, well, right now it's only reading 10 counts per minute, but this number will go up and the number will go down. It really depends on the size of the probe, because with counts per minute, you're looking at a the number of ions that basically strike the probe, which in this case is a pancake probe. And that can vary from moment to moment. Oh, um, let's see, now it counts 15, 15 counts per minute. Why is these, are these numbers so different than what we see on the Netsy chart? Now, we're, we're live here. This is the date and time. And the, the time matches what we show on their site. 1044, right? This is the site, well, 1051. They, this site hasn't updated. I don't know how long it takes for this to update, but it updates every so often. Okay, right now we're at 21 counts per minute on this country 22. And on this one, we're at 35. You see how it varies, how it fluctuates and varies? It's, radiation is rather random. It doesn't strike the probes in all the same manner, at all at the same time. It's not consistent. That's why you have these huge ups and downs. But you can see with an average of, of, does it show an average here? This one doesn't show an average, okay. Current 138, high of 91, uh, or low of 90, or low of 91, high of 310. Why are those numbers so much different? Absolutely way off from what we see at 15 counts per minute here, and 21 counts per minute here. You see, you love this site because it gives you such inflated numbers. Here's why the numbers are so inflated. Because, you know, well, I'm going to show you before we do this. Oops, and we just lost. Maybe it's updating. Okay, it's updating because, see, the time just changed. It's updating. Now let's see what it says. See if it's any different. It was 138 before. Let's click it on here. Uh, it still shows 138. But I want you to show, I want to show you here, okay, here, right near downtown Chicago. Let's see what this shows. It shows 151 currently, okay, Chicago. Now, over here, near, I can't remember the name of this town, near Rockford, click on this, look at this. Current, 19, low 3, high of 42. About 50 miles away, what gives? Now, that kind of matches here, doesn't it? 13 counts per minute, and let's re update this here activate the screen 32 counts per minute again this one usually will read higher because it's got a larger probe here's why probe makes a difference because this is what people this is the type of machines that people would normally have right these two types of machines here if you're trying to compare you can buy any geiger counter in the world and you're not going to come anywhere close to the numbers you just saw for aurora they'll all match this number here in south beloy it looks like illinois they won't have any re re relation whatsoever to these numbers in Aurora, which shows 138 currently, and a high of 310. These are the numbers you love. You don't love the numbers, the other numbers, you love the high numbers. Let me show you something here, as we make a mess. Okay, this is a, I'm gonna to try to give you an analogy here so you can understand this. This is a tub, okay? That's a pretty simple tub. It's pretty big, but it's a tub. Think of radiation like, water in the rain when it rains water will fill up this tub and if you've ever watched and you know, everybody knows this the rain is kind of random it's not ex evenly dispersed it's not continually uh, consistent it rains and the drops fall where they may you may get two or three drops at once and then it may stop for a few seconds and you may get 20 drops it, it it's not consistent that's the way radiation is now, the reason they're getting such high numbers here is because they're using a different type of system with a much larger uh, detector. This tub represents one size. Now, look at this tub. This tub is a lot smaller. It will catch a lot less rainwater, right? It still will not be consistent. you will have highs and lows. And this is a lot smaller. So, where you may catch... A gallon in this big one you might only catch a pint in this one or less in the same rainfall placed side by side and that's what this net sea site is doing they're using a completely different type of system for these recording stations than the ones that are showing real normal readings 
But you'll ignore these low readings in favor of the ones that are fear porn. Because that's what you do. Currently 19. Low of 3, high of 42. What do we have here? 18 counts per minute. And with this one we have 45, 46 at the moment. Again, very wide ranges up and down. Usually this one will be higher. That's nowhere near the ones that you love to scream. That we're all... And how is it... Tell me this, you stupid trolls. Why is it that this site here and this site here... If this is all Fukushima radiation, like you want to claim, then why... Uh, what the huge difference here... Why is this place getting normal readings, and here they're getting high readings? And I've done this before. I've done this in Memphis. I've done this in many cities. Link below for the one time I did it in Memphis. Show you the same thing. I could go to every single site, every single recording station on this Netsy uh, page to show you how you are wrong to be citing Netsy. Because every single one of these recording stations that use this type of probe that we're looking at up here are going to be overly high, usually about 10 times the normal level. And that's not far off, 138 versus 19 compared to, or 15 at this moment, 14 right now. About 10 times higher than normal. That's the numbers you love. So no, you can't use Netsy. Netsy you can't use. Why don't instead you go to and right now, I don't know if this is going to update, uh, Geiger Counter World Map, which will have pretty normal numbers in counts per minute. Uh, and it looks, I'm, I'm, if I'm offline, then this is not going to work. Well, or the Radiation Network. Look at this one. Okay. Radiation Network. This one's in counts per minute. And this one, you'll see, around Chicago area, we've got 33 showing there. Nowhere near that 138. And this updates every so often as well. Uh, again, current. And there's the date. No trickery here. Oh, and supplemental. I forgot to show this. Okay, currently 32 counts per minute. Now, 24 counts per minute. I had this on all night, right here in Aurora. I can't really prove that, but all I can do is show you here, uh, if I remember how to do this. Average, 24. Uh, that whole time frame that this was on, probably about eight hours. We averaged 24 counts per minute. That was the average for the entire night right here in Aurora. Uh, the maximum was 47. The minimum was 10. Uh, total counts. Uh, maximum shows the times that it was maximum, shows the time that it was, uh, uh, the, the points that it was maximum and minimum. Elapsed time, 10 hours, 10 hours and 45 minutes. This was on. Currently 18. The average over that whole 10 hour, 10 hour, almost 11 hours, was 24 counts per minute. In your face, trolls. Lesson learned. If you want to learn a lesson, the trolls don't. They just will continue to cite Netsy, which you can't, unless you take into account for the different type of sensing equipment they have. Netsy is not a reliable source for showing Fukushima radiation. None of those sites are suitable for showing Fukushima radiation, actually. None of them, because Fukushima radiation would never be shown by a Geiger counter anywhere in the world except right at the site. Period. Full stop, end of story. You don't like that, but that's just the truth. In fact, I'll go on a limb, I'm not going on a limb, because I can prove this. It, the Fukushima disaster wasn't even a disaster. No one's died. No increases in cancers. No dead or dying oceans. No high radiation readings anywhere in the world, except inside three containment buildings in Japan. The only disaster is to TEPCO. That, they have a disaster on their hand, because this cost them billions already, and it's cost them many billions more over the decades to clean up the mess that they have in, on, their, on their site not right now. That was the only disaster. There was no nuclear disaster, except to TEPCO, because the entire world is basically not affected by Fukushima radiation. There are thousands of people that have worked at that plant over the last eight years, continue to go there every day, stand right next to the containment buildings, and not die or get sick. So what's wrong in your twisted mind to say, we're all going to die from Fukushima? And no, we saw deaths in Chernobyl right away, because you'll say, wait and see, wait and see. No, we saw deaths in Chernobyl and cancers right away at Chernobyl, 
We didn't have to wait eight years for something to show up. It showed up right away. And this was from a, one of the most secretive societies in world history at the time, the Soviet Union. So don't tell me they're hiding it, that it's a secret. You always got to screw loose. So I guess I'll sign off now, try to get this video loaded, and thanks for watching.